patch 3 for KSP2 is out and there are new parts in it. New parts, performance fixes, bug fixes, everything. Let's get into it. So let's start with the biggest news first, the new parts. So there is an air brake part now, but don't get too excited too quickly. It's the exact same part we had in KSP1, only that the deploy angle is now smaller, only to up to 90 degrees. KSP1 we could extend it further, here you can see it in action. So it's basically just a reskin, which you will see with other parts as well, because they also added shielded docking ports. And remember in case P1 where we always had the problem that we only had the shielded docking port of the medium sized parts? This problem is exactly in case P2. They didn't even think about adding shielded docking ports for junior size. Like why don't we have a shielded junior size? Why don't we have a shielded senior size? Why don't we have a shielded maximum size docking port? They just recycled parts from case P1. But now let's get to what you all have been waiting for, the actual new stuff that isn't just repurposed material from case we won, the engines. So starting off with the Cornet engine, you can see it here. They all have something in common, they have an extendable engine dome. The second engine that we have is the Tuba engine, you can see here. It's the biggest one out of the three they added and it also has an extendable dome, which uh, lets you store the engine a bit more compact in staging. Next up, we have the trumpet. The trumpet is the middle thing between the two. It's a medium sized engine also with an extendable engine nozzle. So let's see those engine nozzles in action. So you can see as soon as I press the button to activate the engine, it automatically extends out and produces this beautiful dome. It even has little steering engines you can see there. This also applies for the other two engines, of course. Here the cornet and here is the trumpet engine. So let's get to the next part of this video, which will be a performance test. I put the biggest rocket I've yet built to, uh, to the launch pad and launched it before the patch and after the patch. And here you can see the comparison. So yeah, it is better now afterwards. Good enough that I can film the mission, but still it's pretty horrible. But in comparison to before, it, I have a bit more frames but it's not that noticeable. Now maybe with other rockets it will be, but such a rocket in case P1 for me always worked. I've always built such rockets with 80 engines and they never were a problem. Now my graphics card is a 3070. This is a good graphics card. So if you want to play case P on a MacBook, don't do it because your MacBook will be on fire. Concluding, I will speak about the topic of performance again in a future video. Uh, when I have a bit more experience from what I can see now, it's a bit better, okay? Not perfect, but a bit better. So there are other changes as well. I will go through the most important ones in the upcoming minute. And also fixed fairings don't properly go out of the way in the VIP. So finally we can actually see like the thing behind the fairing we're building. And they also fixed the bug where the fairing length slider gets stuck after reverting to the VAB from flight. I personally never had that, but it's good to see that it's fixed. And fixed changing radial symmetry count after placing the first part of a strut causes the strut to break. So I hope this means that we don't have struts like this anymore that just freak out all the time. That would be great. And the biggest annoyance of all, fixed. The VAB becomes unresponsive after clicking the fairing edit button and doing an unrelated action. Finally, if you ever had it that you wanted to remove a fairing, but your cursor would constantly be stuck on the fairing and you couldn't do anything else, this is fixed now. Finally. And fixed something really annoying that annoyed me a lot on EVAs. Time warp keyboard shortcuts like dot and comma are still active when typing in the details for the plant flag. So we would uh, plant flag, type in the text and the text had the dot in it and suddenly the time fast forward. Like, And we also have some changes in the category of nobody asked for it but they done it anyway. Are you ready? It's gonna be funny. Let's go. Okay, they adjusted over reflectivity of Kerbal eye materials. Okay, okay. I'm not asking question at this point. I mean it's a bug that is fixed so good. Fixed Bobo's ladder does not provide seamless transition to adjacent ladders. That's a problem literally nobody cared about, but they fixed it nonetheless, which is good. And fixed... 
Bills and Bob's eyes have incorrect symmetry and color setting. I mean, okay, it's fixed, I get it. But anyway, I think that's enough for a short overview of the patch. I will speak about the patch in general and other changes I noticed in my future videos. But for a first impressions video, this is enough. So I wish you a nice evening. Goodbye, guys.